Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to do muzzle flashes with Windows Live Movie Maker. And since we're here, um, you're going to import your video, and I'm going to show you the raw footage right now. So that's the raw footage, and once you do that, um, pause right before you shoot. So, like this. So I'm going to pause right here, use these tools to help me move a little bit more. And I'll say right there will be good. And once you do that, press split. And I'm um, drag drag this line to the first end of the split right there. And then press this button on your keyboard. It's going to say P R T S C or S Y S R Q. It's usually on the top of your keyboard next to F12. So press P R T S C and nothing will seem to happen. But if you open up paint and press control plus V, it will copy and paste the whole screen. Once you do that, take your rectangular moving tool or rectangular outlining tool and outline this box. Try to get it as perfect as you can. And once you do that, press crop and save. I'm just going to name it Z. Now go to this program called paint.net. It's a free program and it's really effective. You could use GIMP, but I don't use that. So once you do that, open your picture. that you had right here that you saved from paint and then import a muzzle flash and press add layer um you could get this muzzle flash off of google just type in muzzle flash and this is the first thing that pops up and then right click to rotate if you need to rotate it so i'm going to rotate it like this and muzzle flashes are quite large so make them a little bit bigger and that's perfect once you do that, take this magic wand tool, click on the black, and press cut. This will erase all the black from the muzzle. Press the move tool, move it to um, adjust it, right there. And then go to effects, go to photo, and glow. And um, it should already make it glow, so you just press OK. And go to effects, blurs, radiation blur and it should already blur it but you don't really have to do the blur um so i just use um hue saturation and i increase the saturation just by like a little bit like 120 press ok this will like make it all yellow kind of and then once you do that save to jpeg this is really important save it to jpeg and save um, do the 80, do the quality to 80, cause um, it will lag sometimes if you get to do the muzzle flash. So um, when everything's done, press OK, flatten, and it's gonna save. And then once you do that, you're gonna open up this program called Light Artist. It's free. It's a free program, like I said, and um, you can um, open the picture you saved with the muzzle flash right this one and then you're gonna press add right here press add and it's gonna pop up a light source so you can use that as a light source for the muzzle flash so say it's gonna come off my head and my hand I can increase that light source to shine on my um, head hand and wall so I could just keep on adding more to it and it's an awesome program it's free and you can change the color like you could change it to I guess yellow okay you could do that but I like it as bright white and once you do that you could just adjust it a little bit more and you could press process and get processed to uh, um, photo right here once you do that save to JPEG 
save and then um it should pop up a photo right here with the um light artist photo drag that photo between the split and go right here it says duration for the photo type in 0 dot zero three press enter and it should like just last for like three milliseconds once you do that you have to add sound effects so go to home go to add music and um just find your best sound effect for this so for this one I'm gonna do M1 grand and once you do that it should do it like that. <laughs>